Oh, my poets. Wow. What a week. I can't even explain to you how amazed Miss Cardoso, Miss Musgrave, me, how amazed we all are. You have done such an amazing job with your poetry. And friends, who knew that poetry could be this easy? It's as easy as singing. So today, I want you to be a copycat poet. So a good writer not only thinks, but they also read books to get ideas and to follow the same patterns of books that other writers do. And in the same way that they do that, poets, that's you and I, because we're going to write poetry, oh, read other poems to get ideas, to get melodies, and to get rhythms and even emotions so that they can make their own poems. And friends, today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be working on reading some poems so that we can get inspired and become poets today. I want to share with you one of my favorite poems. This one is really special to me because when I was little, my mom would always sing it to us. Remember I told you how some nursery rhymes are actually poems, but we sing them to make them fun. All right. So here it is. It's called Brother John. If you know it, follow along. And it's called Brother John. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Yeah. So we read the poem. We thought about the poem. It's my brother who's sleeping. And I'm wondering, is he awake or is he asleep? And we also sang it with emotion, with the rhythm and the beat. We did not read it like a robot. Are you sleeping, brother John? No. So what I want you to do is I want you to listen to that little melody, that rhythm, that beat. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, brother John? Brother John. And we're going to take that borrow it and make our own poem. Let me show you what I mean. I actually made my poem already because I was so excited. I couldn't wait. So any good writer writes about the things that they love. And I was thinking that my favorite thing to do outside of school is to dance. I love to dance. That's why Go Noodle is my favorite. And so I thought I'm going to recreate this poem. I'm going to copy the melody, the beat, the rhythm, and I'm going to put my own words about dancing. And so here's how my poem goes. Ready? I love dancing. I love dancing. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Turning around in circles, turning around in circles. Take a bow. Take a bow. I talk about dancing. And then I tell you, yes, I do. Then I explain that I turn around in circles. Because when you dance, you turn around in circles. And at the end, what do you do? You take a bow. Take a bow. So I wanted to make sure I added that in my poem. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to help me make a new poem. Are you ready? Okay. So I want to talk about my favorite thing to do in school, which is to read. All right. So what can I start with? <sighs> we love reading. Can we do that? Okay. We love reading, we love reading. And now I have to find words for da, 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 da. Okay, we can say, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Or how about we say all the time? All the time, all the time. And since we're learning this week that we're avid readers, I think that would fit too. We are avid readers. We are avid readers. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Ah, oh, perfect. Let me show you what I wrote down while we were making the poem. Okay. Can we sing it together? Okay, ready? We love reading. We love reading all the time. All the time. We are avid readers. We are avid readers. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Bravo, 
take a bow, everybody. You did amazing. So today, I want you to borrow this melody. Da 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 And I want you to borrow it and put your own words about things that you like, love, or do. Friends, I can't wait to see all the great poems you come up with. We love you, friends. Bye.